Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Awaken Your Inner Power show at the Spiritual Events Directory. I'm Donna Ferguson, and I am here today to do our weekly broadcast, and I'm really excited to be here. It's a great pleasure and a joy to join you yet again. And uh, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a fantastic day and um, looking forward to the new year, which is really exciting. So um, I don't know who's on that wants something because I've just suddenly got a tickle in my nose. So that's quite funny. Uh, so, yeah, how are we all? Let me know where you're tuning in from. And let me know how your Christmas was. I know not everybody's going to have a blessed Christmas. I know sometimes there are some people who unfortunately are grieving or have less fortunate lives. So my heart is filled up to send more love on to you. And uh, thank you so much for being here and sharing that. So I really am very grateful. Whoops. Just turning my sound off because I seem to be blasting everyone. Roxana, hello. Welcome from Sydney. I'm not sure what the weather's like down there, but we've had a beautifully cool Christmas period this year. We have had um, nice drops of rain. We've had some nice cool winds. It hasn't been sweltering and uh, it's been such a pleasant change. So, uh, Tanya, thank you for joining us from Adelaide. Welcome, welcome. And Janet DeBarris from Zapdo. Welcome, Janet. Um, Brian, hello. Thanks for dropping in, Brian. Thanks for being here. Um, Pete, thanks for being here. Hello. Merry Christmas to you too. Teresa, uh, grateful my children were home. Weather beautiful in southwest Florida. Am I right? I'm not sure. I'm guessing. So welcome, everyone. It has been a very nice, relaxing time for me. I have to say just a pleasure to kick back a little bit, have some time, um, quality time with my husband and myself, which has been really nice. And we've just had another great bit of storm and uh, it's starting to get humid again, so I'm not sure whether we've got more rain on the way. But, uh, yes, Teresa, oh, yes, Southwest Florida, awesome. Welcome. And uh, Kathy, welcome from the Sunshine Coast, beautiful up in the Sunshine Coast. I love it up there. I love going up to uh, Maloolaba, love it up around that area, just such a pleasant um uh, pace of life overall I think they are so how are we all doing how are we all going just making sure that everybody can obviously hear me because um, I am getting some responses here thank you Teresa and uh, you know I'm really looking forward to today's show you know 2020 is we have a new year we have a new decade and on the 7th of January we have a whole new 38-year cycle starting. Now, just to be um, on top of that, that cycle, which um, this is something that a friend of mine who is right, very qualified in her um, astrology and Reiki and, uh, you know, she's got so many things going on. She is super qualified and a great pleasure and joy to talk to. And where I'm just trying to find the post that she put up, which explains the exact uh, remnants of what that all means. Here we go. So 38 years cycle uh, starts on the 7th of January when Saturn and Pluto join together for the first time in around about 38 years, which is massive. Um, so what does that mean? It means that it's a cycle of building um, new structures and, you know, in business and, and stepping out into our power. So we really want to take that on and we really want to start being that person that we were born to be and really being that person that, you know, 
we've got we've all got a gift we're all unique we all have something to share we all have something to you know pass on to others and if we're not taking that chance and stepping into who that person is then we are wasting our lives being where we are and you know I want to see each and every one of you really step up and be that person that you were born to be and share those gifts that you have it's just such a such a, a great honor to be able to do that you know and this is why I love doing what I do but seeing the transformation that um, people have uh, when they go through this is absolutely incredible and uh, actually speaking of that I have a free challenge starting next uh, next year so very early in the new year it will be up and running I've been developing this over the last couple of days um, from an idea that I've been working on for some time so on the 6th of January we are stepping into this massive um, blueprint of transforming your results. So who's stopping you from being who you are meant to be? There's only one person, it's you. So let's have a conversation about what you love to do, what you're passionate about, whether you're earning income from that or not, and let's look at how that can happen. So, um, Gloria, welcome. Hello and Merry Christmas to you too. Lena, in the fire of change and breathing my way through it. Powerful, Lena. That, I love that. That is absolutely <coughs> awesome. Uh, Jamie, hello from Belamble. Out west, I think. Hopefully, you are not suffering too much out there if I've got my um, geography right. Uh, Gloria, yep, new cycle for everyone this new year. Yeah, definitely. Margaret, welcome. Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm hoping for a new cycle for change. And yes, I feel positive. I tell you what, anything that you have been working on for the last, uh, for this year, and the previous year, if you've been working on building a business, then this is where you are really going to step into it. This is where you're really going to um, find your power. And, you know, I challenge myself all the time because I have a coach who challenges me. And without her, then, you know, and, and I have another coach as well. And without him, without their input, without their ability to be able to um, push me through to shift um, and transform my own results, then I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be capable of giving you this information. I wouldn't be available to, to project what everyone deserves to have in their life and really you know I just I'm so passionate about everyone living their true purpose that it just means so much to me um, can't wait for 2020 welcome Angela thank you for being here it's going to be a beautiful change oh yeah powerful in beauty uh, Natalie welcome wow I love this 6th of January is very transformative transformative day for me and it's your birthday on the set, on the 5th, excited for next year. Natalie, that's amazing. And happy birthday for the 5th of January, which is not that far away. Uh, Jamie, can I ask, is health going to be better? Okay, let's have a conversation around that, Jamie. And thank you so much for asking the first question. Um, is health going to be better? Let me ask you this. Um, Jamie, what particular area of your health are you looking at? Do you currently have some health issues that you're holding on to that you need to work through? And I can tell you that part of this absolutely five-day free challenge that, uh, that we cover health in that. So we look at five aspects of your life. We look at business and, and, and uh, relationships as far as people go. Uh, we look at love, we look at health and well-being, we look at um, self-belief self and we look at wealth. And it's in that order for a reason. So, 
you know, Jamie, please uh, give me a bit more information around that. Love to help you out on that. But also the free challenge will cover that information and, you know, you're more than welcome. I am going to have the link available next week to pop that in. So I'm excited about that. Gloria, write down your intentions for the new year and put it into the universe. Definitely writing everything down, Gloria, is is phenomenal power in itself and writing it down you know not once not twice not you know but daily what is it that you want daily and you know i've just been listening to, to my mentor and uh you know bob talks about writing things down a hundred times a day you know he's he's a busy man and he works all over the world and he's talking, writing things down a hundred times a day. And he never asks anybody to do anything that he's not doing himself. I know that for a fact. So powerful, powerful writing down the power. Susan, hello and welcome to the show today, Susan. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, Jamie, I had influenza. Um, a, I am Blue Care Community Carer. Okay. And you'd be around a lot of people where if your immune system is down, then, um, yeah, you're going to be picking up little different bugs and viruses that, that a lot of people normally perhaps wouldn't be subjected to. So, uh, Jamie, hello, Kate. Thanks for joining me. Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas, my dear. Kate, another one of our beautiful spiritual events um, directory uh, hosts and Kate does some amazing work on tea leaf reading and you should just pop into her show. I'm not sure when it is. I think it's on a fr uh, is it Friday mornings, Kate, at like 11 o'clock or something. I'm not sure. Uh, not 11. Uh, look at the time, 11, 11. I don't know how many times I have seen that in the last month or two it's and it's not planned I can tell you it's I just looked and it was 11 11 and the reason I looked Kate was because we're talking about the time that you run your show and for me to look up and see that was like because I was looking I it can't be 11 o'clock because it's 11 o'clock now for me and I know you're in Queensland as well so yes um great great so Jamie yes um you know we are covering that but you know, you really need to look after yourself and do your protection, you know, to protect yourself against um, outside energies and entities that might come into your um, uh, energy field. And, you know, it's really important to do that and doing that every morning and every night, super important to make sure that you are protected uh, because of the work that you do. And also, you know, how do you look after yourself when you're doing your blue care, um, you know, the caring when you're going from home to home? And, you know, it's super important that you're not eating on the run, that you're not just grabbing what's easy. Prepare your food so that you've got a healthy diet all the time. Plenty of water. Um, you know, water is powerful in so many ways but it's powerful when you are hydrating your body sufficiently, particularly in this hot weather that I know that we've had in Queensland up until the last day or two. Uh, Deborah, welcome. Merry Christmas, Deborah. Thank you for joining us here. Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, 9.30. There you go. Thank you. Kate's show, Thursday morning, 9.30. Absolutely amazing. Um, should jump on there and just have a look and see what it is that she does. Um, she's amazing. She's got this gorgeous gypsy caravan that she's travelling around in um, as of next year and uh, Kate's incredible and uh, I have a lot of time for Kate. So um, that's great. Kathy, thank you. You've been diagnosed with adenocarcinoma stage four. Any ideas? Mm. Okay, um, look, you know, there, there are so many alternative things that you can try and to be honest with you, um, there's not too many pe people that are disciplined enough, I suppose, through their, you know, particularly through their bad days. Um, 
I do know one thing. One thing my coach says to me is now is not the time to feel sorry for yourself and to let it get on top of you. You have to have a positive mind. You have to believe that this is going to, uh, you know, heal and there's many different things that you can do for that. But to be honest with you, the medical profession who are looking after you at the moment um, will be doing everything possible and as long as you eat a super healthy diet. I know if you looked up um, uh, foods for, you know, particular types of cancer, then there's going to be lots of good things that you can have, you know, lots of good green um vegetables that are very uh high in iron and um vitamin c and so many other you know vitamins that they provide seem to do a lot of good things um and really you know i guess Everybody is different and I don't want to give you health advice when it comes to something like this, but I can give you ideas where you can start looking to, um, to start looking to assist the process of healing. Now, one thing I will say, I want you to physically sit in your future. I want you to visualise it and I want you to go um, to that place with what you're doing in the future. I want you to sit there and I want you to really feel the joy and happiness that that brings you, the impact that surviving has brought for you. What I want you to do is I want you to get that feeling and that visualisation, I want you to write affirmations. I am so happy and grateful now that I am um, fit, healthy. I don't want you to use anything to do, any of the words to do with bad health, um, cancer, any of that. I want you to go down the track of that I am extremely fit and healthy and that all my internal organs and external limbs operate at 100% capacity every single day. And I want you to write that down as many times as you can every single day. And I want you to um, really step into that and I want you to get passionate about how you feel when you're free from this, um, this uh, diagnosis that you have. So I'm not going to say it's going to heal you, but I am going to say that Anything that you do to help assist the process, because your mind is the most powerful uh, tool that you've got and I want you to use it and I want you to really use it powerfully. Even on the days when you get up and you don't feel like doing it, I want you to write that out. I want you to write it out at least morning and night once a day, once in the morning and once at night. And, you know, I know that this can be very draining for you. I have know people who have suffered from cancer, friends have passed from cancer. I've had family pass from cancer. And I do know that, uh, you know, it can be very draining and there's days when you just don't feel like doing anything. I would also get as many comedy movies that you can and laugh as much as you can. So, you know, I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to, but this all helps with your mindfulness and your mental state, which is all part of the process of any healing through any disease. So I really want you to go there and think about that and I really want you to feel it and I want you to feel how it feels in six months and 12 months and two years and five years down the track when you're living this life of opulence and abundance and that you've been able to come through that and you're now earning income because you're motivating others um, as, an, as an international speaker to, you know, heal them and, 
you know, you live a, a fantastic, long and very healthy life. So all of that as part of your affirmation, go back and listen to the replay of this when we're done and really put that into, um, put it, pause it and go back to it, write it down, get it right and then record it and listen to it with your earphones so that it's constantly, if you don't feel like writing it, you can listen to it all day and all night and get that passion going in that. And I, I, I can tell you that that will help change the paradigms and the, the, the behaviours that you have and that you know around this disease and uh, come through that. And please let me know how you go. Reach out if there's anything that I can do. Um, okay, thank you, Donna. Uh, looking forward to 2020, new health, more yoga, and yes, yoga is great, um, you know, and it's a gentle form of exercise as well. So, you know, you may even feel like, um, Kathy, that there's, there's some yoga, that it's off gentle yoga that you can do. Uh, Kathy, yes, I have faith I can beat this. Absolutely. You're already halfway there, Kathy. You know, instead of saying I can beat this, I have beaten this, you know. Be in the present tense when you're writing that affirmation down. So make sure that you, you do that. It can only help you. It certainly is not going to make things any worse for you. Jamie, um, Plate-based foods are great in vitamins. Um, great, Jamie, thank you for that. And an alkaline diet, yes, absolutely, rather than acidic, um, perfect. Um, and plant, oh, plant-based foods, yeah, I thought that's what you meant, actually, when I saw it the first time, when I glanced at it. Um, Janet, whole food plant paste. Look at all the health that you're getting, Kathy. This is what I love about this show. Everybody is so ready to help everybody else, even if you, they don't know you. So thank you, guys. This is amazing. And let's all send Kathy lots of healing, lots of light, lots of love, lots of um you know, high energy, let's lift her frequency to become this amazing woman that we know she is. Um, laughter, yes, absolutely. Comedy movies, your favourite funniest movies that you've ever watched, get them and watch them over and over and over again. Um, Jamie, is there a message from my mother? Jamie, let's just sit with that and see what happens. Um, Consciously, I don't go there. Um, unconsciously, things will happen. And as I said, when I first started the show, I got a really big tickle around my nose. So I don't know. And I knew somebody would be on this show asking for a message. Jamie, I'm not sure if that's you, but let's just see what comes through as we continue on the shows. So um, it's it's very powerful the way things come in. I might just look at something or, or, you know, something will pop into my head. If I suddenly stop talking, um, you'll notice that there's something coming in and, you know, whatever the words are that come out of my mouth from that, I have no idea what they mean but it just is what it is. So... Uh, let's have a look at that. So, Jamie, if something comes in, I will definitely pass that on for you. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for joining us today. I love that we've got so many people with us today. Oh, Mina, you think it's from your son? There you go. All right, perfect. So, you know, and... Look, I always say to everyone, no matter what the circumstances are, I know that these loved ones are looking down on us. They're with us. They're around us. They're in our energy. They guide us. They help us to make decisions. You know, this is what the first seven years of your life was. The behaviours that we have are created through um you know, the subconscious mind because we just absorb so much. So the behaviours that we have, they are in spirit with you every single day of your life. So just know that, that she is there. And, oh, very itchy, very itchy. Don't know what that is. Just on my right side. 
Um, don't know, but all of a sudden, oh, just before Christmas. Yeah, you know, this. I said this at the beginning, it's um, sometimes it's a very sad time for people and it doesn't matter how much time has passed. There are still, it's all about the memories and, um, you know, know that that whatever for whatever reason whatever occurred that there is always a greater peace for them on the other side um if they've struggled with life here on this planet in this soul um as the the being that they were then you know and they no longer can move forward with life as we knew it then just know that they are Oh, what a pain in my heart. So, Jamie, I don't know what that is. That might, I don't know. Um, just I just got a uh, sort of a bit of a pain in my heart, so I'm not sure. That's probably, she was probably very pained um, by having to make the decision that she took her own life. So hopefully, hopefully that's the message you're looking for. Um Mina, yes, because my nose time to time is itchy. He went to heaven, oh, three months ago. Okay, so um, I'm not sure how old he was. He sounds like he may have been quite young, like tiny, and that could be also around butterfly kisses as well, Mina. So hi, Karina, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Um, who are you looking for your messages for, Karina? That would be great. Um, my daughter is itching for two days now. <laughs> I think it's allergies. Okay, Jamie, yeah, okay. Um, yes, she did struggle here. She is not in pain anymore. Yeah, absolutely, totally agree. Um, hi, Holly, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Mina, my pleasure, absolute pleasure. Um, you know, I, I, as I said, I don't know where these messages come from and suddenly things will happen with me. I have no idea what they are, but, you know, when I speak the words, I know that we are sending a message to somebody. So um, we have been on for nearly 30 minutes. Wow. Time just flies on this show. So. Um, you know, how are we going to move forward in 2020? Um, I'm running behind this year with doing my vision board and getting that up and running just due to some uh, time constraints that I had leading into it. I was working with clients longer than I intended, but they needed my help. So, you know, I was more than happy to help them out. And, you know, like I said, whatever you're doing in the new year, the new year is going to be so powerful for so many people and if you can really transform your current results then that five-day challenge which is absolutely free is really going to help you to understand things from a different perspective and that is definitely something that I will be uh, linking into the conversation next week. So come on the show next week same time obviously and you know you get that link you just jump into the group the facebook group which is um you know the the transform your results and you know i'm excited about where this goes so i'm really looking forward to being able to um i've just still got to put the videos together for that and uh, bring that to you so i am super pumped for 2020 um he looks so young okay uh we need yes we need a we need to pray for the firefighters and the families who have already lost so much so i agree jamie there's always sending so much um support to the firefighters you know they've had a horrific time this year and it's been constant it's been what since the end of october i think so you know this is like two months constant fighting fighters fighting fires all around australia and you know i take my hat off to them 
they have been doing huge hours. You know, there's been some firefighters that have lost their lives because they've been doing their job. I seriously just, you know, my heart goes out to them. So thank you, Jamie, for bringing that up. It's a perfect time to do that. Messages from my mum, uh, my situation. Messages from my mum read my situation at the moment. Okay, what's going on, Karina? Um, too excited. <laughs> You're too excited for 2020. You should be. 2020 is going to be so powerful. I love it. Um, what If you can share, um, share a little bit about what's going on. If not, reach out to me at the end of this call so that, uh, you know, we can book an appointment and I can do a, um, a call with you, a 15-minute um, call to help you work through that. So, you know, and now that I'm actually really starting to uh, get powerful with my clients, a uh, 15-minute Revival call is going to be perfect to quickly look at what's going on for you. I can dabble in, I can, I can delve into that just by listening to a conversation with you one on one, which is powerful. So we can either do, we, we can do it uh, via Zoom. So that's the method that I choose to use. And, uh, you know, that, oh, where did I go? I just had that up and I forgot to copy and paste the, Link. So uh, this is really great that you have brought this up. So if you would like to reach out to me for a call, then please do so. Um, here, I'm going to put it in the Facebook group, not on the, because I'm hoping that you might be able to copy and paste that while we're still communicating and you can jump on and make an appointment with me now. I do have some time available over the next uh, five days, not including New Year's Day, but I'm happy to uh, have a conversation with you on that anyway, Karina. Um, is, there, is there a house move? Jamie, what I would say to you here is um, everything is within you. If you want to move house, then you will definitely move house. If you don't want to, then you are, you are going to uh, not move house. But let's extend and expand on that. So, oh, I can hear thunder. Let's hope we stay connected. Um, so the with the, as far as the house move goes, I want you to tap within yourself, tap into within and connect with your intuition. And I want you to think about do you seriously want to move? Um, you know, whether it's a sale or whether it's a rental, whatever the circumstances are, it doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Um, and do you seriously want to move? So if it's selling your house, I want you to write down in full description who you want your buyer to be, what price they're going to be paying. So your full description of your buyer is going to include their type of income so they can afford your home and, um, you know, the uh, easy to deal with, um, uh, maybe a cash contract would be great. If you're looking to rent, then I want you to put out exactly the type of home that you're looking to move into. And this will, this will apply on either scale, whether you're selling or whether you're buying, uh, whether you're selling or whether you're currently renting and moving. Where do you want the house to be? What kind of house do you want it to be? Um, single level, two storey. Do you want it to have a pool? Do you want it not to have a pool? Do you want it to have an ensuite? Do you want it to be floorboards? Do you want it to be carpeted? Do you want the, what sort of style? Is it open plan? Is it closed? Uh, closed independent rooms? Is it L shaped? Is it, you know, you be very descriptive about what you want and very precise about what you want. And if you want it and you write this down every single day and again, you know, I, what suburb do you want, even if you know what street you want to live in. And you can, again, record this on your phone and listen to it over and over and over. In the current, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm living in my home um, 
in such and such a street or suburb um, and, and a full description of what that looks like, what the furniture looks like, you know, whether you're taking your furniture with you or not. Be really descriptive and you're going to make anything you want to happen and it will happen. My pleasure. My pleasure, Karina. Um, Cindy, hi. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Um, so, Jamie, hopefully hopefully that's helped you. And if you've got any questions, of course, you can uh, come through. Yes, law of attraction. I'm in the valley but left the ocean. My husband misses the ocean. I love both. It's a rental. Yeah, you know what? Um, yes, moving to the ocean is uh, on my bucket list for early next year. Um, I have dates in place. I have a description of the home. I have a description of the street. I have a description and I put it on my earphones and I play it over and over and over at night while I'm sleeping because your subconscious mind is going to work at its highest point of um, absorption absorption um, when you're sleeping because you have no control over putting your conscious thoughts in the way of it. So try that, see what happens. Yes, I love the ocean. I cannot wait to get back there. I'm just so excited. 2020 is powerful. Um, and it's scary for me too. So I say it's scary because my coach pushes me. When I say I've got a goal and, you know, whatever that looks like, she always doubles it. Says, right, this is what you're going for. And I, I have to make it happen. <laughs> I just have to because I'm one of these people that I will not allow resistance to take over. I will not allow um, my previous behaviours and habits to interfere with that. I'm a behaviour breakthrough specialist because, um, you know, I love working with people and I love seeing the transformations that they make. Again, this is all about this uh, five-day challenge, um, transforming your results. It's, you know, whether you're working a job for someone or whether you're working for yourself in business, it does not matter. It's, it's ch going to change your whole life. And... While, that you, while you receive money from an employee, then, you know, you're not restricted by that amount of money. If you do the right thing, if you can increase your level of employment, um, you're going to increase your level of income. Or if you become really good at what you're doing and there's no opportunity where you are, then you're going to be able to freely move into another business where you're going to be uh, valued and, and, you know, see the worthiness of where you're at. And they will see that too. So, so much, so much going on. And, you know, all of this is really about believing in yourself. So, you know, this is, you know, the free challenge is all about, you know, the self-belief is is on day four. Um, you know, and yes, of course, I have coaching programs that are available as well because I want to see people really extend their, um, their belief into a massive um, journey to do what they are passionate about. And, uh, you know, I... I have a new year offer, $1,000 off my coaching program. It's only for six weeks, but it's amazing. Um, and I know that you will transform in that time. So, you know, the five-day challenge, yes, I have masterclasses all around the law of belief. Um, again, you know, there's options there, what level you want to enter the masterclass at. It's entirely up to you. So, you know, there's a free option, there's a ticketed price, a low, low end and a high end. So there's three opportunities to get into the masterclass as well. Um, masterclass, if you go in into that free, you don't get any of the bonuses. So, I, you know, a free ticket is not going to um, allow you to have the bonuses because I cannot offer bonuses to you if you're not paying for that ticket because there is a lot of time involved with me taking time to then offer you those or provide those bonuses for you with what's involved there's you know on the high ticket there is over six hundred dollars worth of bonuses so you know i can't give those away 
Um, but you do get some stuff. So, you know, regardless of that, you do get, you know, a couple of little extras, which I'm happy to send out. So that's all entirely up to you. Um, but, yeah, you know, I would love to see each and every one of you on that uh, five-day challenge. Let's explode into 2020 and really start to... Uh, captivate your true being, your true self, your true purpose, uh, what you were meant to do. Let's let's do that because you deserve it. You're worthy of that. And, uh, you know, I really, really love to see people just expand and develop and transform and, you know, really, really find a way to believe in themselves on a whole different level. So come on, guys, any more questions, any more uh, that, that we've got going on here? This is great, you know, this conversation's great. I'm missing a couple of my favourites that, uh, my regulars, sorry, that come on, which uh, is um, quite understandable for this time of the year. But it's beautiful to have new souls coming in all the time. And, you know, I really love just being able to help people. And, you know, my gift to you is that I'm here to help you and, and provide you with some great strategies that will help you to move forward regardless of, you know, what that is or what area of your life is. So, you know, let's get on with this and, um, you know, really start to tap into what's going on and what you're looking for. So let's have a look at what's happening, hey? Anybody got any questions today? Any more questions today? Um, as I said, I, I miss the ocean too. So you're in Fortitude Valley, Jamie, down in Brisbane City. Is that where you are? That would be like a concrete jungle to your husband if he loves the ocean. So, hi, Temple. Ah, oh, Michelle, is it? Michelle, welcome. First time. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you become one of my regulars um, on this show every week. It would be amazing where, you know, we can get to know each other a little more. So, Tell me what's your favourite thing to do. Everybody, I want you to tell me what your favourite thing to do is. What is the one favourite thing that you love to do that you don't do enough of? Um, I tuned in late. How do we find info on the fight? Oh, sorry, Jamie. Yes, I will have the link next week. I haven't completed all the information on that. Um so it's quite, not quite ready. I haven't got the page visible at the moment. That will be happening over the next 24 hours and I'll definitely putting, I'll be putting a link in. But, Jamie, if you want to link to the five-day challenge, um, what I can do for you, my love, is send you the link when I've got it already sometime over the next few days. So happy to do that. Would that be okay? I'd love to do that. Uh, Michelle, moving into 2020, is there any great wins for me um, that you can see? Okay, great question, Michelle. Thank you so much for asking. Um, what are you looking for in 2020? Just let me know what it is that you're looking for. When you're asking for wins, what does that mean? What does, what does that look like? Is that in uh, business, uh, if you run your own business, is that in your employed job? Is that in uh, your relationships? And I'm talking your family relationships, your business relationships, your work relationships, or is it in love? Is it in health? It, you know, talk to me about that a little bit more. Let me know a little bit more. Um, Jamie Lee, yoga. Oh. Mm, not sure what yoga means. Michelle, craft, fishing, gardening, can't choose between the three. Ah, oh, the, sorry, that's my question. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love doing yoga too, Jamie. It's amazing. It's so helpful to help the inner soul of each of us. Uh, craft, fishing, gardening. Well, you know what? Then you need to do more of all of them, Michelle. That's what I would say to you. 
<laughs> oh gosh, I can't believe it. Um, Jamie, yes, I will send you the link, my love. <laughs> I confuse myself. Sometimes, you know, things just happen. They come out of my mouth and I can't even, you know, because the energies that, that just absorb um, what's going on and I just it just flows. So uh, sometimes we just need to keep the conversation going. So I might ask a random question. I'm so sorry. Um, link to challenge. We'll go out to the beautiful Jamie. Carlin, hello, welcome to the show today. I hope that you become a regular your first time here. Beautiful. I just lost your grandfather. I'm so sorry to hear that, Carlin. I was wondering if he is happy where he is and where he has been laid to rest. You know what, Carlin? Um, I'm sure that you're probably still feeling some sort of a spiritual connection to your grandfather if it's been recent and you know I think that once they're out of this life they're always happy you know and and I think that they're always um they they move into this different life and this different energy and I think there's just happiness all around them I think it's not very often that there is um any um, anger or frustration that go with them. I think they're very much, um, I, well, I believe that they're very much at peace in all areas of their life and that they then go on to serve in a different life. So I would not be concerned about that. I think you will find that he will be at peace and he is happy. Uh, Deborah, welcome, welcome. And let's hope, Cullen, that you come along to this show more often and become one of my regular contributors. I just love having my regulars here. Guys, share this show with anybody that you want to um, because there's messages in here for so many different people. You know, when I create my ripple effect, I have no idea how far or wide it goes. What I do know is that it does matter when I speak my words. So it's huge. It's massive. And uh, we want to get this message out to as many people as possible every single week. So, uh, Deborah, sorry, will my elder son change for the better once he moves out of home? Hmm. Um, Deborah, that sounds to me like it's your wish for him to change, but why are we wanting to change him? What What is it about him that you don't like? And, you know, you don't have the power to change who he is. Um, but in saying that, what is going on with him? What What is, what is the... Uh, what is the purpose behind the change that you want to look for? You're welcome, Carla. My pleasure. Thank you for being here, Carla. It's been an absolute joy to talk to you. Uh, so, yeah, what is that, Deborah, that uh, you're wanting to change? Because we we don't really have the power to change um, other people. What we do have the power to do is we have the power to send love and blessings to all those people that might annoy us. And in doing that, we are sending them a frequency and a vibration for the relationship that you have with that person to change into a better relationship. So if that's what you're looking for, Deborah, then, you know, that might be, you know, that might be what you're wanting more than wanting to change him. But I also ask you to write down exactly what you want that relationship to look like. You know, you want it to be loving, you want it to be caring, you want him to, you know, what do you want? What do you want in that relationship? And also, um, you know, how do you want that to look? What is it that you're wanting from the relationship? Because whatever is going on in that relationship, what part of that has been your contributing factor to the breakdown of that relationship if there is a breakdown? So we have to look at the whole situation to find out 
what it is that has been going on, what it is that you're wanting, if it's possible to have that, but what is the fact, the contributing factor that you played in that part, um, in that relationship? Because it doesn't matter what it is, we all play a part in relationships. We all play a part in the breakdown. We all pay, play a part in the um, healing. We all play a part in, you know, how relationships operate. So there's a lot to look at. But again, that is really important question. And, you know, if you really want that to be a great relationship, you have to start writing down every day what you want that relationship to be and just continue to send him love and blessings every day, every morning, every afternoon, every night um, on a continuous basis. Holly, I'm trying to manifest a good safe car. We'll try similar technique as you were using to manifest the right house. That is exactly right, Holly. That's exactly how you will manifest the right car. The price that you want to pay, the uh, brand, make, model um, of what you want. Look, it can even be a, um, a new car you're manifesting the price on. So don't, disre don't disregard the fact that it might be a brand new car. You know, all the sales come on. Um, it might be the price that you're able to manifest. There's options everywhere, everywhere. It might be a new, sec like a new second-hand car. So what I'm saying is it might be like a six-month-old car that's got next to no kilometres on it and it could be that the price because this person might want to uh, go and live overseas and they just want to sell their car. You know, you can make things happen. So, yes, absolutely you can. Thank you, everyone, for all the hearts you've been sending all day too. I love it. Thank you so much. It just really does mean a lot. And I would love to see you sharing this show with all your friends and, um, you know, because that gives you a little bit more um, connection by association as well with an expert who knows what they're talking about. Guys, I have so much to offer, you know, my, my tribe. I have so much to offer the people that come into my free challenges, my masterclasses, and, of course, my clients. They all get special. <laughs> I'm loving it. Thumbs up, hearts everywhere. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I give special deals to them when, uh, you know, when they, when they find uh, different clients to come my way as well. So I absolutely would love to, um, you know, have a chat with you, have you come on to my free day challenge, five-day challenge. And if anybody else wants the link to that challenge, please uh, just put yes, please link to challenge. And I will come back to you as well when I have that ready. Um, oh, thanks, Kate. I think that's Kate that's heading off. Thank you so much, Kate. Really appreciate it. You have an absolutely amazing day too. Um, thank you. Happy New Year to you too, Jamie. I tell you what, it's just, oh, I'm travelling. Oh, hang on, I'm travelling. I've missed some stuff. I'm travelling to Port Macquarie to visit the Koala Hospital family holiday to make a small donation. Amazing. Good, good work, Jamie. That is so cool. Thank you. Deborah, thank you. My pleasure. I do send him love and blessings every day. It is more his mindset and his relationship with himself and his girlfriend. Well, you can help to change that too, Deborah, just by... You know, how do you want that relationship to be? If it's his mindset and it's because of his relationship with his girlfriend, um, with himself and his girlfriend, then you can send, you can write up exactly how you want him to be more self-loving, um, unconditional love, send him unconditional love to take that within himself. This is something I have um 
started doing a lot more work on, not because I don't um, love myself unconditionally, but because it opens up a whole new opportunity for me. It opens up a different frequency for me to vibrate out to the universe. Everything that you do on an unconditional loving um, self uh, situation is going to create a high, going to bring your frequency frequency up which creates a higher level of vibration out to the universe which means you can receive so much more so really really important oh janet yes absolutely link to the challenge i will send that to you too my love thank you so much uh, for putting your hand up for that holly my pleasure um spiritual events <laughs> Kate, I will send you the link to the challenge as well, my love. Yes, we never have enough to do, do we? <laughs> I'm glad you like my show, Kate. Um, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Um, I just love doing what I do and I get a lot of joy being here. So to everyone who has spent the day here, um, this hour with me or this last 55 minutes with me, Thank you so much for being here. I am wishing you all the very best new year. It will be new next year when I see you all next. Thank you so much. I know that you all have the power within to really step into who you're meant to be and I really want to see you work that juju and love and get yourselves out there into what you're meant to do. Um, that is so important for you to step into that power. So if anybody has any questions, um, there was somebody I was talking to, who was it that I said would be happy to book a call? Karina, I think maybe, was it Karina? Yes. Um, anyway, the link is there. If you would like to book that call with me, that is definitely there. And I am so grateful to have so many beautiful souls on this show that really love to explore what is open to them. And for all you newbies, for those who have just joined us today for the first time, I'm excited about you coming on and being here every week. You know what? The more comfortable you get with opening up, the more we can explore, the more we get to really be um, in that next level of our you know, transforming our results, basically. So I just love it and I love being here. Um, blessings to you too, Deborah. Thank you so much. We are definitely having a great 2020. Um, Janet, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Karina, happy new year to you and your loved ones. And Karina, back at you too, my, my love. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for interacting in the show. Thank you for being part of this. Your questions have helped so many other people and know that that's important. Know that whatever question you ask helps somebody else. So I really am so, my heart is so full right at this moment that we have been able to help so many people and um, I really do look forward to seeing each and every one of you in 2020. So I will leave off here. I will send the link when it's ready to all those people who have asked. Thank you so much. If you still want the link, tag my name. Uh, tag me in as Donna Ferguson on the page uh, so that we can, um, or Unique Vibrations, so that we can um get back to you as quickly as we possibly can and get that link to you because wow what a year we have coming up what a year thank you everybody thank you so much for being here and i really do look forward to seeing you transform yourselves in 2020 so 
Bye for now. Have a great New Year's Eve. Bye, everyone.